Hey guys, Noelle Foley here with Ringside Collectibles and it is day one of San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, please welcome my guest at this time, Renee Young. Hi. How are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm, I'm wonderful. You just did a great job hosting the panel. How was that? It was so much fun. I've never been to Comic-Con before. I've been to like a Wizard World before, but I've never actually done a full Comic-Con, especially to be here in San Diego. Yeah. And it's the biggest one. And I didn't really even know, I mean, I had like a bit of an idea what to expect, but it's like amplified by a million. Yeah. And then you walk in the room, the room was giant, it was packed, uh, and it was just so much fun getting to see yeah. the, the new fashion dolls and getting to see some girls. I haven't seen Brie and, and Nicole in what feels like forever. So it's yeah. just like fun to kind of reconnect with everybody and like see the fans and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So as a child, what kind of toys did you grow up playing with? Was it like action figures, Barbies? Um, yeah, I liked, I mean, I definitely was into action figures. Like I really loved a lot of the X-Men ones. Like I was like big into like having like Wolverine and I had like the Rogue one oh, yeah. uh, and like Cyclops. So like, I had a bunch of like the X-Men stuff. Um, and then I was, I mean, <laughs> me, and, me and Becky were talking about this on the way over here. I'm like, it's pretty into like Polly Pocket. Really? Yeah, I liked Polly Pocket and like the the little like animal zoo ones. I liked I liked animal based oh. um, toys a lot. I'm a big animal fan right now. Yeah, here. me too. I, so I had like a lot of stuffed animals, but I was really into like Beanie Babies yeah. and um, there was like these like weird little like cat things that I can, and they like purred. I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like real. It looks like a real yeah. cat yeah, yeah. and it. You have to like milk it and yeah, well not milk it, no. but you know what I mean. You milk that cat. You're gonna milk that cat. Milk that cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, did you really hear about Talking Smack from Twitter? I did. Yes. Uh, I mean, listen, the internet's a great place. You learn a lot of real information. You learn a lot of fake information. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for me, that was real information. But um, yeah, I mean. It's, you know, we're busy. There's a lot of things going on. I'm, I'm really bummed out mm -hmm. that Talking Smack is done. I'm hoping that at some point in the future, maybe we can bring it back. Or, it, you know, it's still going to live in the incarnation of Talking Smack after all of our pay-per-views, the SmackDown uh, pay-per-views, same as yeah. Raw Talk. So it does still kind of exist. Um, and hopefully at another point, we'll be able to bring it back full throttle. If not, um, I don't know if you saw Daniel Bryan's tweet, but mm -hmm. I think that we're just going to do a pirate version on Tout. Mm. That would yeah. be really cool because yeah. I, I love that. Yeah, like, you did a really great job like getting the wrestlers' personalities to actually oh, show. Thanks. thanks. And, you know, it was just so fun. It's fun to get out there and just, like, just have fun. And that's all I ever want to do. I mm -hmm. got into this line of work to have fun. And, like, I love the element of, like, what's going to happen, what kind of ridiculous things can we do, and, like, where's the line that we can walk until we get in trouble? Yeah, yeah. Power to you, the hog. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So if you were to get a Mattel doll made of yourself, what kind of accessories would you like besides a microphone? Uh, my dog. I was literally, that was yeah. my first thing that I thought you were going to say. So great of just like this little like chubby blue. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I think something like, uh, like that. Um, God, what other accessories do I always have with me? Sunglasses. I mean, I do, I have sunglasses. I don't know. I'm not. I, maybe I'm not like a big accessories person. I have a really wide uh, variety of wardrobe, so maybe yeah. a couple different outfit changes. Like yeah, me neither. Like I just put this on because I was like, do I need something? And yeah. I just rooted through my bag and I'm like, that'll do. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. I mean, I wear like my wedding ring and that's it. Yeah. So yeah. And congratulations. Thank you. So Thanks. Excited. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. It's cool. Go married life. Go married life. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I wouldn't know that yet. Yet. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Not there? yet. Don't worry, Dad. Uh, <laughs> heard it here first. Actually, I would just like to go on record uh, first and foremost to say that I feel like I witnessed the blossoming of your relationship very early on. Oh, my God. <laughs> at WrestleMania in New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me, uh, actually, uh, Dean was also quite concerned about it. He's like, wait, do I need to be, uh, do I need to stop this? Do I need to let this happen? Uh, he's close with, with Mick, with your dad, so he didn't know if he needed to, like, intervene yeah. on your dad's behalf. But, hey, congratulations. That's that's actually like one of my favorite stories. Oh, it was so funny. Me and Frank just standing outside of my room, <laughs> and um, We're like, what's happening here? Dean at the time was, I think he may have had a couple drinks. It sounds about right. And I think he was screaming, "Footmaster!" Uh, but anyways, <laughs> that's a different story. Different story. Yes. Um, uh, last question: <laughs> okay. Would you ever? Uh, try your hand in the ring or as a manager? Oh, I would love to, yeah. I mean, all my training and stuff is, is as an actress and in like comedy and improv and stuff. So like, that's something that I would definitely love to get back into is doing a little more uh, yeah. colorful stuff yeah. out there, yeah. yeah. I would love to see that. Would it be fun? Yeah. I don't know who with or like how that could ever. I think you could work with work anybody. With, like, Dean. Oh, God. 
I don't even know if I could handle that. I mean, him out there in the ring is a whole other beast. Yeah, yeah. I can handle him at home in the ring. He's on his own. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't touch that. <laughs> well, thank you, Renee. Yeah, thank you. And stay tuned for more from San Diego Comic-Con with Ringside yeah. Collectibles. So jealous to get to stay here. I, I know. Just stay.